Implementing TDS in Busy. This presentation will give you an overview on implementing TDS in Busy. TDS is tax deduction at source, that is, tax is deducted at the point where income is generated. This helps in tax invasion as the income the payer is giving to the payee for any contract amount or for any services rendered, then it is his duty to first deduct the TDS from that amount and deposit it to the government. To enable TDS in Busy, click Administration, Configuration, Features Options, TDS TCS tab. In the tab, first of all, enable the option of Enable TDS Reporting. On enabling this option, all other options get activated. Next to this option, you can see a Create Default TDS Categories button. Click this button to create default TDS categories. By default, at the time of company creation, default TDS categories are created automatically. Next, you have to enter details related to TDS like TAN number, TDS circle, payers category, is it a domestic company or other, company's address details, company's address detail, telephone number. Click amount round of option to specify the rounding of options for various amounts. Next is responsible person's detail. Click this button to enter details of the person who is responsible for deducting the TDS and depositing it to the government. Click save button to save the configuration. Next in the masters menu you can see TDS category master is appearing. This is because you have enabled the option of TDS. By default all the categories of TDS are created in busy. If we open a category in modify mode then we can see that here section code is mentioned, threshold limit is mentioned for various pay category and, and TDS percentage when pan of the party is specified and when the pan number of the party is not specified. Threshold limit is the maximum limit crossing which the TDS will be deducted. If you want to add any other tax category then you can add it by using the TDS category add option. Next we will create account master for new party. Here we are creating an account for Acme advertisement company. We have specified the group as sundry creators. On specifying the group a TDS information window appears in which we have specified why in the TDS applicable data field. And next we have specified the party pay category that is whether it is a domestic company, a partnership firm or an individual resident. Next we will specify the IT PAN of the company. It is very important as without PAN TDS deduction percentage is quite high. Click save button to save the account master. Next we will create an account for the expense. Here we are creating an account for advertisement expense. We have taken the group as indirect expenses. On selecting the group, a TDS information window appeared in which we have specified TDS applicable yes and the TDS category. That is, it is contract to others. Click save button to save the master. Next we will open in the modify mode various TDS related account. That is, here you can see all the details related to TDS are specified in the master. Now we will enter a journal voucher for the amount paid to the Acme advertisement company for the advertisement contract we have given to them. Here we have debited the advertisement account by 80,000 rupees and credited the Acme advertisement company account. Now a TDS calculation window appeared. This is because both the accounts which are debited and credited have TDS enabled in them. Click yes button in the window. Next a TDS calculation window appeared which is showing that TDS amount as per the percentage specified in the TDS category. Click OK button. Next we have credited the TDS contract to other account and have credited 1600 to it. That is TDS amount is 1600 and party account is credited with 78400. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher a TDS deduction details window appeared in which we have selected the TDS category as contract to others and have created a new reference for this transaction. Here we have created the transaction number 1 in which expense amount is 80,000 rupees and TDS amount is 1600 rupees. Now we have deducted the TDS for the Acme advertisement company. Next we will deposit this TDS amount to the government. For this we will be entering a payment voucher. Here we have debited the TDS contract to others account with 1600 rupees and have credited State Bank of India account with 1600 rupees. On saving the voucher an adjust TDS reference window appeared in which we have selected the TDS category as contract to others and have selected the reference number 1. That is against this reference we are depositing this amount to the government. 
In the bottom of the window, we will specify the various payment related details like the quarter for which we are making the payment, date of tax deposited, chalan number, check number, bank where tax deposited. Please note that the code which you have specified in the allies field of the account master here the bank master will appear as the BSR code of the bank. Click save button to save the voucher. Next we are entering one more journal voucher for the advertisement amount paid to Acme advertisement company. Calculate TDS for voucher. We have seen the calculation and busy have shown the calculation of TDS in the window itself. Here we have credited the TDS account by 500 rupees. On saving the voucher, TDS deduction details window appeared in which we have created a reference, reference number 2. Now for if any reason, if this contract get cancelled, then you will need to do a entry for reversal of TDS amount. For this, we will again enter the general voucher, debit the Acme advertisement company account, debit the TDS account and credit the advertisement account. On clicking the save button, a TDS reversal window appeared in which we have selected the reference number 2. It is against this reference, we are taking a TDS reversal. Click save button to save the voucher. Now we will go to display TDS reports. Here all the TDS reports are given. First of all, we will have a look at the form 26Q. We are generating this report for first quarter. The report is showing the TDS category, total tax, BSR code, total amount and all the TDS related details. Next is Form 26 q and next year. We are generating the report for TDS category contract to others. The report is showing the name of the deducted, total tax deducted, total tax deposited, all such details. Next is TDS deduction details. The report is showing the TDS deduction details here for Acme Advertisement Company. This much tax amount is deducted and this much is deposited to the government. Next is audit report. Audit report shows any discrepancy in the TDS amount. If there is any discrepancy in the TDS amount, it will be displayed in the audit report. Now, again we are entering a journal voucher. In the voucher, we have debited the advertisement account by 30,000 rupees and credited the Acme advertisement account with 30,000 rupees. Actually, TDS is, is to be deducted in this transaction, but we have not deducted TDS in this transaction. This difference will be displayed in the audit report. In the audit report, you can see TDS amount 600 rupees and difference amount it is showing as 600 rupees. That is, if there is any discrepancy, it will be displayed in the audit report. Next, we are entering a payment voucher for advance payment we have made to the Acme advertisement company. We are making a payment of 50,000 rupees and crediting the State Bank of India account by 49,000 rupees and crediting the TDS account by 1000 rupees. That is, we have made the payment of 50,000 rupees out of which 1000 TDS has been deducted. We have created reference number 3 for 50,000 amount and 1000 TDS amount. Now, on 25th of April, we will enter a journal voucher when actually full amount is paid to the Acme advertisement company. Here, we have debited the advertisement account by 2 lakh rupees. We have credited the Acme advertisement account KS button in the TDS calculation window. Here the Acme advertisement account is credited by 1,97,000 rupees and we have credited TDS amount by 3,000 rupees. Although the TDS amount should be of 4,000 rupees but we are showing the TDS amount as 3,000 rupees as we are considering 1,000 rupees already deducted using the channel voucher. Now we will deposit this tax amount to the government. Here we have debited TDS account by 4000 and credited State Bank of India account by 4000 rupees. In the adjust TDS reference window, we will select both reference number 3 and reference number 4. Reference number 3 is showing 50,000 rupees and reference number 4 is showing 1,50,000 rupees against which tax of 1000 and 3000 is deducted respectively. Next, we will go to print email SMS TDS reports. Here we will generate the eTDS return. We have selected the eTDS return option and have specified the file name for generation of eTDS. On clicking the OK button, a form 26Q file will be generated at the specified path. Now you will open the utility provided by the TDS department for generating the e-return. Here we have specified the form 26Q path. Next we will specify the path for the Chalan file. That is the file which you have got on depositing the TDS amount to the government. Next, we will specify the path for error file if any. If any error is generated at this path, a file will be generated displaying the error.
Next is consolidate file name with path. Here the actual file will be generated. Click validate button to generate the file. Here on the screen you can see a file is generated which is an error file that is the data is containing some error. If there would be no error then a eTDS file will be generated which is to be uploaded on the government's website. Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily implement TDS in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel.